I had a $30 million Ben Hall film script written, planned, and sitting on my shelf that I thought I would make when I was about 55. And then um, I got a little restless, and I wanted to make a short film in the Ben Hall world. And I thought, well, the only way I can afford that is if I crowdfund something. And I just thought, I'll give it a go. Yeah. I, I set the benchmark really high, 75000 Didn't actually think I would reach it. Mm-hmm. But I thought... It's the only way I'm going to do it. And then I ended up over-financing to 120000 130, somewhere in there, to my absolute surprise. And so we, of course, made this 20-minute short film, 40 minutes, yeah. because we had extra money. Um, but uh, And after three weeks of filming, we ran out of money, hadn't quite shot everything yet, and I thought I was going to go on the round to another Kickstarter round to, to finance it. And a lot of the people I was working with started seeing the footage. They were really impressed with it, and they said, why... Why don't we keep going? Why, yeah. don't, why don't we just bite the bullet and keep going? Yeah. And my initial response was, no damn way. Yeah. I cannot make my big $30 million Ben Hall film like on, on you know, on one thirtieth of that. I can't yeah. do that. Um, and they said, well, can you somehow adjust your script? Mm. So essentially I took the, the, the last act of my big Ben Hall script and mm-hmm. I turned the, the last 30 pages I then stretched that out, filled in a lot of the history, and turned that into the what well, you've got I'm, today. I'm glad you did because what what do you do with a 40 minute film? Well, I was just making it for fun. Yeah. Like I was on it. I didn't. I didn't care what I, I was going to use it for. Yeah. I just thought it would be a great, uh, maybe like a good ad to maybe take to a producer one day and go. Yeah. Well, this is sort of what I think the feature could be like. Sure. I, I mean, film festivals, sales, I whatever. I didn't really care. Yeah. I just wanted to make a film. Well, it worked out for the best. It did. It <laughs> the, did. The, the discrepancy between the humble creation of Twin Rivers and this colossal undertaking of Ben Hall, I'm sure there were challenges on Ben in all kinds of ways, but what were some of the biggest challenges of making the film and what lessons from, say, Twin Rivers were most valuable during the production? Hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, having... I. One thing I didn't have with Twin Rivers was a finished script when I started shooting. The script just kept getting written while we were shooting and changing and reshoots and so on. With Ben Hall, I started with a, with a finished script, and I think I noticed the difference there. So that was a lot better. So I, I learned my lesson there. But they're just so different beasts. Twin Rivers was me and two or three guys with a video camera. No crew, no catering, no producers, nothing. It was just that. And our entire unit was my car and anything we could fit in it. That's how we shot that movie. And then Twin Ru- uh, sorry, then Ben Hall was this whole other beast. I had crew, I had a DOP, because I had to be my own DOP yeah. and on Twin Rivers. So just having crew around that could do all this stuff, to me, was just, it was a totally different ball game. So, um, and now I've really just come away from Ben Hall with all my lessons about what to do and not to do next time, more so than what I really learned on Twin Rivers. 